This is the prayer book camp. This is the prayer book camp for all nations welcoming you to reset my seed prayers this morning. Hallelujah. Ye koro do shagala bado sakana hada. Meto zone ke soto koma hada. Media Korea Labrodo Seke. This is the time that we express our appreciation and gratitude to the Lord, the giver of life, the one to whom all flesh comes. Hallelujah. Maneke Sukra de Sedo. Are you there? Somebody pray with me and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come with my with gratitude. I come with appreciation for the gift of life, knowing that no one else is able to sustain life but you. Maneke Sotokona. You are the only one that is able to sustain life. So we are grateful, God. Go ahead, send that link, send that link to someone. Somebody should just post the link online let some, so, so that others can copy it and forward it on. Let somebody know that the set 60 minutes has already begun. Oh, please do us a favor. Keep your private conversations away so that we have a good recording and we would have a, a good a, a good time in the presence of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Please make sure that you only unmute when we ask you to unmute and and pray with us. Just try and keep your concentration on this gathering. Let, let it be that you have given this moment to the Lord so that he can help us where our children are concerned. Amen. Hallelujah. We still bring our sacrifices. We bring our, 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 our praises and adoration to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the God, Lord, the giver of life. I don't know about you, but the alarm clock, could not did not wake you up, did not wake your children up. It is God that woke them up. The Bible says, I went to bed and I woke up because the Lord sustains me. If you are sure that that is your testimony this morning, go ahead and begin to thank God for your children. Thank God for the gifts of life. And say, Lord, I appreciate your commitment to my children, waking them up every morning, causing them to see your goodness in the land of the living. Oh, Lebre no kosha dayalagasaka, Father, again, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said that when the Holy Spirit comes, he will reprove the world of sin. That's the first thing he's going to be dealing with. He's going to be dealing with the whole sin matter. And by the, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, sin has been destroyed destroyed. The yoke of sin has been destroyed. And that is why as we stand in a place of prayer this morning, we want to begin to exempt our children from the yoke of sin, from the yoke of unbelief, from the yoke of disbelief. Begin to declare that your children will begin to make that intelligent decision to follow the Lord. Jesus said, my sheep will hear my voice and they will follow me. Begin to say to the children in your care, you are the sheep of the Lord. Therefore, you will follow the Lord. Jesus said, when you pray, you say. When you pray, you say. Make it your, say, take that responsibility. It's yours. You've got to begin to say in the place of prayer. Say over every child, you are the sheep of the Lord. You are the sheep of the Lord. You are the sheep of his pasture. You hear his voice and you follow him. As the deer pants after water, so will your soul long after him begin to say that to your children, say to the to your firstborn, second and third, say to them that as the deer pants after water, so will your soul long after the Lord. Your soul longs after the Lord. Today I bring the power of the Holy Spirit to rest upon your desires. Come on, church, pray. Let's begin to bring about a, a, a cleanse of the desires of our children. Let's begin to bring about uh, the cleaning out of the desires and longings of our children. Let it begin to align with, with 
with the will of God. Let it begin to align with the desire for God. Uh, in your mind's eye, begin to visualize all the children that God has kept in your care, the, your, your biological children, your spiritual children, your God children, oh, even your nieces and your nephews. Begin to declare over their lives, you will serve the Lord all the days of your life. Your desires and your longings, they align with the counsel of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Abalabada Sukana Adapasuna. I subject your life to the ministry of the Holy Spirit, where the Bible says, Jesus said, the Spirit of God will reprove the world of sin. And therefore, every alignment with sin, today I destroy it. Jesus said that the time will come when there will be many that will go out there saying that they, they, are, they are acting on his behalf. But, but in the name of Jesus, we say that our children will not yield to such a spirit. And that's why First John 4 tells us, test all spirits. Begin to pray that the spirit of God will begin to grant your children Yes. so that they're able to tell, they're able to test and approve only the one that God approves of, approve only the voices that God approves of. Every voice that is speaking contrary to the Christ, today we shut down their property, we will shut down the portals through which they gain access into the lives of our children. I don't know if you know, but there are many voices out there that sound similar to the voice of the Christ. They make, they, they come with positive thinking. They come with positive motivational speaking, but it's all lined up with the spirit of the Antichrist. And Dakosoto Krono Kushada begin to release your children from the shackles of New Age ideologies, from the shackles of, of, of scientific ideologies that are speaking against the Christ. Matoso Konehada that the children that God has kept in your care, oh, that they'll be prevented, they'll be protected from the lies and deception of contrary spirits, contrary voices, contrary ideologies. Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, he said that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. They are mighty through God. Come on, begin to use the mighty weapons. to pull down the strongholds that have kept our children from believing the Christ or following the Christ. Some of them will say, yes, I'm following him, but in attitude, they're doing the opposite. I want you to begin to supply every child in your care with the power of the Spirit of God that keeps them on the path of a thriving, healthy relationship with Jesus. Paul said, I'm traveling again until Christ be formed in you. Uh, why don't you be like Paul today and say, Lord, I travel again. Philippians, if, uh, Galatians 4.19, I travel again till Christ is formed in my sons and in my daughters. I don't know about you, but I'm not yet satisfied. What I want to see, I have not yet seen, and so I'm going to continue to stay in a place of intercession to say until Christ be formed in you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, my sons. I pray for you, my daughters, that in the name of Jesus, you will pursue the Lord. You will, you, you, you will chase after Jesus. Your desires will continue to go after the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. How many people are in church this morning? I can hide, hide here 
anyone pray or pray with me somebody bring, 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 the, bring the images of your children up in your mind eye and pray over it that you will serve the Lord God that the Lord God and Father of our Lord Jesus serve my God Somebody says, Agatha, do they have to serve your own God? Well, I'm sure Jesus didn't get the opportunity to ask his parents whether he had an option to serve any other God. They just took him to the temple. And I'm sure Abraham did not give Isaac that opportunity to choose which God he wanted to serve. God is a transgenerational God. He said, I know Abraham, my friend. He will teach his children to follow after me. And so it is your responsibility to to, to Bring your children to your God, the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus. It is not that you drag them, but in the place of prayer, we are saying, Lord, we return all of the children to you because they are your heritage. They are your property. They belong to you. The Bible says children are the heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Every child has been placed in that family on purpose because it was God that placed the solitary in family. Families in Psalm 68, verse 6, the Bible says, He sets the solitary in family. Every one of us has been set into our own families by the one that created us. We didn't choose our children, they didn't choose us. God chose us for one another. And that's why we begin to pray for our relationships with our children. I want you to begin to believe God for a healthy, thriving relationship. That the relationship between them and Jesus will begin to overflow into the relationship with you as carers, with you as parents, with you as aunties, uncles, and as many as are standing in for children today. That the Spirit of God will begin to rule in in your relationship with, with, with your children, th that the Spirit of God will gain ascendancy. The Bible says that Christ may be preeminent in all things, that in that relationship, household relationship, Jesus Christ is preeminent. Begin to believe God that the Lord Jesus reigns as the King, the ultimate in your household, that he is the one that is worshipped, that he is the one that is obeyed, that even in the, in the expression of relationship between parents and child that the spirit of the lord jesus 
is at is at work in that in that household in the name of Jesus. Some of us are struggling in our relationships with our children. We don't know what to make of it. It is becoming a difficult ordeal. Bible says in the end times, children will be disobedient to parents. Ah, balada kaso kanya hada meto soko. So we can see that the seed of rebellion is an indication of the times of, of the times that we are in. But Second Thessalonians verse chapter two verse seven tells us that even though the spirit of lawlessness is already at work, that is the spirit of the Antichrist is already displaying his his his, his works. But those of us that have been called to restrain it, the church of the Lord Jesus, we will continue to restrain it. And that's a paraphrase. Read it yourself. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. It says, he who lets will let. He that will restrain it will continue to restrain it until it's taken out of the way. And so until the church is removed from the earth, we will continue to restrain the activities of the spirit of lawlessness. We say we, 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 we stop it from operating in our children, from operating in our families we say we do not give place to the spirit of rebellion in the name of jesus in any shape form or fashion there are parents that are struggling with children that answer back at every opportunity not giving their parents an opportunity to to put in the word oh yes the bible says honor your father and mother so that it may be well with you that you may live long we pray for every child represented here who are struggling with defiance struggling with rebellion really really mouthy children this if this morning we bring them before the lord for the reset hand of the lord for the reset hand of the lord I'm praying about uh, your family relationships or mute yourself that agape love will be at the center of your family relationship. Respect and honor will be at the center of your family relationship. The fruit of the spirit will be evident in your family relationships. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we bring an end to every form of rebellion. Family God for peace, in your family, the brothers and sisters in harmony who love one another. It's not all right for our children to be at loggerheads. That is the foundation of of Sakaria <laughs> 
Maybe goes out to family relationships this uh, this morning. Please release your faith so that the rivers of living water that Jesus talked about in, in, John, in John chapter 7 will be truly manifested today into your family relationships to bring about peace, to bring about harmony, joy, agreement, accord. Let that be the portion of your family as you pray. The Bible says it is a good and a pleasant thing for brethren to dwell together in unity. And somebody says, yeah, it's just, it's just a sibling rivalry, but uh, what you are playing with uh, is, is the foundation for family feud. It was sibling rivalry and feud that brought Cain and Abel to where it became murder. I want you to believe God that in your family, there'll be love overflowing. There'll be joy overflowing. There'll be understanding. Have we, do we not have we not seen where siblings cannot stand one another? They're both teenagers, but one is already saying, oh, daddy likes this one more than me. Mommy likes that one more than me. All because they're seeing some kind of, uh, of, of progress in their, in, their, in their sibling and they think that, oh, that means that they're not shining. Well, this morning as we pray, we want it to begin to register in the heart of every child that they, each and every one of our children have glorious destinies. Every child has a glorious destiny. The Bible says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil. To, to give you a hope and a future, to bring you to an expected end. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, we you are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus. In other words, every single one of us on the earth is unique according to God's design. And so there is no grounds for rivalry. There is no grounds for jealousy. There is no grounds for resentment or bitterness. And so we come against all forms of vices of the enemy that is creating the, the divide between siblings, maybe Koreana has that, or even that source of discord between children and their parents. Today, in the name of Jesus, we lay the acts of the word of God at its root and we drive it out of that every family represented here. Please pray with me for, for joyful families, for joyful sibling relationships. Where each, each sibling is, a, is the cheerleader of the other. God said, where is Gabriel? In other words, God expects everyone to have a sense of responsibility for their siblings. Begin to pray that in the lives of your children, they will begin to walk in, 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 in responsibility, and they will begin to walk in a, with a sense of, of, of concern for one another. God expects to be a brother's keeper. God expects us to be a sister's keeper. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, church, pray. Pray for your, pray for all of your children. They begin to relate well. They begin to speak about each other. In the light of the Lord, 
Every house, it is a good and a pleasant I just sense that some of us need to take seriously praying about the relationships of our children with one another. It was sibling rivalry that sold Joseph to slavery. He sold Joseph all the way to Egypt. It was sibling rivalry that did that. It was sibling rivalry that killed Abel. It was sibling rivalry that caused one one, one, one man to kill about 70 siblings. It was sibling rivalry. And these things don't start overnight. They start, you know, in bits, especially when there is strife, when there is where, where there's bitterness, where there's unmet expectation. Maybe one child is doing better than the other. We, we need to be careful to take this thing seriously in the spirit. Hallelujah. It was simply rivalry that brought Joseph all the way. He tore him away from his family and he had to suffer as a slave. It was simply rivalry. And so I want us, I want, I want to press, impress it on our hearts, not to just, you know, because I believe that the Spirit of God is bringing, is bringing that up for a purpose for maybe one or two families here to take it up seriously in the spirit and say in jesus name i i i enforce the leadership of the holy spirit into this family and the love of god to reign in every relationship whether it's between the children or with children and parents every form of relationship established in this family in the name of jesus i declare that it is under the power of the holy spirit and you know that God said it is not good that man should be alone. And we and so we never forget to pray about our children's network. Of course, you are part of their network, but sometimes when they begin to go beyond the home and they begin to have friends and they begin to engage in social interactions, so they, they, they are liable to pick up, you know, good or bad things. And that is why we pray concerning their network. May they get sakada suriya nahada 
So do a good network can actually be very good because I remember being a beneficiary of a good network, and that's why I'm here today. I'm a product of a good network, but also many have not do not have the same testimony, and that is why we want to continue to pray for our children that their network, oh Bala Dasaka, will come under the searchlight of the Holy Spirit of God. We pray over all of the network of our children. All of their relationships with friends, with colleagues, with mentors, with with Evil communications corrupt good manners, and so that is why we stand in the name of Jesus to 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 protect our children from evil company. The Bible says, if you walk with the wise, you yourself, you will be wise. But if you walk with the foolish, you will get into trouble. And so we stand in the name of Jesus to, 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 to uproot any form of association that does not go well for the advancement of our children. Evil company, evil communications, it corrupts good manners. Mondika Sata Cassidy de Gosoro, Bere de Gosoto, Bere de Gosoko, Koli Bedegesh Kadaya. Thank you, Father, for all the network of our children as it comes under the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of. Of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you so much for joining this morning. Yes, this trend is moving fast. 60 minutes is nearly. 
done. We're well over half hour. I want to encourage you to continue to pray for your children as a marathon and not a sprint. So do not be discouraged. If it looks like things haven't changed immediately, make up your mind that this is a lifetime duty for me, that I'm going to continue to stand in the gap for the children that God has kept in my care. Hallelujah. And you can then, you can then be guaranteed that over time, you'll be seeing testimonies after testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, congratulations for the testimonies so far. Hallelujah. Just before I hand over to the announcer, just want to remind us, prayer school is starting. I thought I lent my voice to that. Prayer school is starting and registration is all already in earnest take advantage of the free prayer school because somebody is wondering oh, how much is this prayer school it costs you nothing in fact that is the reason you have no excuse because no cost means no excuses so join us at prayer school in this in this um, uh, series prayer school 105 it's easy to register just you just need to email your first name and last name to prayer bootcamp at oasisfoundation.org UK. God bless you. Also, a big shout out to those that are joining us for the very first time. We love you and we love to appreciate you. Give us a thumbs up. We want to be able to welcome you especially. God bless you real good. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory be to God. Also, a huge thank you and mega, mega well done to those who support this work with their substance, with their time. I want to say that all your labor of love would not be in vain in the name of our Lord Jesus. I'm going to hand you over to the announcer right now. We'll be right back, okay? Thank you very much, Pastor Agatha, and thank you everyone for taking the time to join today's meeting to pray for your children and all the children that are in your spiritual care. You can connect with our ministry by going to our YouTube channel, Prayer Boot Camp for All Nations, you can tap or click on playlists, and there you'll find the recordings of all our meetings. You can pray along in your own time over and over again with any of the recordings that you like. And you can also share these links with your friends and family. We'd like to ask you to kindly like the recordings and also to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with us by going to by sending us an email at prayerbootcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk. You can, we will send you ministry updates and you can send us your prayer requests, your testimonies, and your feedback. We take your communion at the end of this meeting, so please have your communion emblems ready. Encounter night is on tomorrow. It's always on the first Sunday of the month. And this is the meeting where we focus on ourselves and we pray for our needs, our walk with God, our spiritual life ministry, our own relationships, family life, and health. In the second half of the meeting, we focus on our jobs, career, professional elevation, and our finances. So please join us tomorrow. It's on at 9.30 to 11.30 p.m. UK time. As Pastor Agatha mentioned, Prayer School 105 is here. It starts on the second Thursday of the month. It's on on the second and fourth Thursdays of every month from June to September this year. So you can register in one of two ways. As as she mentioned, you can send your first and last name to our email address, or you can click on the link that has been posted in the chat panel, and you can register that way, and you can forward that on to your friends and family as well. Thank you. Reset My Seat Extended, which is our 30-minute prayer meeting that we tag on to the end of the main Reset My Seat meeting once a month on the second Saturday of the month is on next month. And this is a 30 minute meeting where we focus on praying for our children, but just uh, but focusing on a single topic. And this month's topic is excellent social skills. So please join us next week for that. And with that, I'll go on to today's testimony. And it goes as follows. Our son runs his own social media business. Towards the end of 2023, our son was complaining and making some negative declarations about his business, saying sometimes his business slows down at the beginning of the year, usually the first four months of every year. He said this had happened 
in previous years. His dad and I told him, your business will move forward. Stop saying that. We don't accept that. We're believing God for a shift and a change. So stop saying that. We're believing God with you. We stand in faith with you. In the first quarter of 2024, you will get good business unlike other years. You will have money in your hands. You will have savings in the name of Jesus. And so in early March in 2024, he called us to tell us that God had opened doors for him. He was being flown to Japan for a very lucrative job. And while he was preparing for that job, another job came in. And this was only in the first week of March, well before the end of the first quarter. And he said he had so much money in his hands that he had savings for the first time in several years. So I want to give God all the glory and all the praise and all the honor. All the dominion belongs to him. We believe God that going forward in future years, his business will experience a boom and wax great in the first three months. We thank God for his divine intervention in our son's business. Father, we do not take it for granted that you gave this miracle to your son. And we trust you for more open doors in Jesus' name. And we trust God for continuous miracles in the lives of all our children. The Bible says that they should not be conformed to this world. Our children belong to God and to us. And whatsoever they lay their hands on will prosper. Thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever they lay their hands on will prosper. Whatever your children lay your hands on will prosper. Go ahead and thank the Lord on behalf of that, that family. One person's win is everyone's win. We are grateful for what God has done in the midst of us. It's an, it's evident that God is in the midst of us because week in, week out, testimonies come in to show that God has been faithful. God is good. God is listening. God is hearing and answering our prayers over our children. Amen. So take that opportunity and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mane kesun tari bashina. Den dene bon de gesi ke le bodo sekinia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Men doli ke sheke ni benos. Thank you, Father. In Sada, we bring before the Lord right now all of our children as they continue in their academic and intellectual endeavors. We are in examination season and we want to supply our children with the power of the Spirit of God. The Bible says the child grew, talking of Jesus Christ, he grew, he worked strong in spirit, he increased in wisdom and in favor with God and with man. Oh, if Jesus needed that to grow. Surely your children need to grow. They need to work strong in spirit. They need to grow in stature. And so at, at this point in time, I want you to begin to pray about their intellectual growth. You know, that, that they will grow age appropriately. In the name of Jesus, they will not lag behind. Oh, <laughs> Oh, thank you. thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the academic and intellectual endeavors of our children. Hola, 
Lord, we declare that our children they grow in knowledge, they grow in wisdom. I'm sure I mentioned it last week. Sometimes we have children who are okay until an exam shows up or until a test shows up, until they are required to present uh, uh, to bring up a presentation at work they're, they're they're working okay but they just have poor communication skills they are scared they're yielding to the spirit of fear but the bible tells us in second uh, timothy chapter one says god has not given us the spirit of fear so if god didn't give it why are we meddling with this this afternoon this morning i wanted to begin to bring an end to the mission of fear that it is it is fear that causes exam fright some children, they will do so well in their coursework, but once it comes to any kind of assessment process where they are challenged, where their knowledge is challenged, they, they, they come under some kind of pressure. I want you to unmute yourself and begin to pray and release that child to confidence okay. in learning. Confident learning. Confident learning. The Bible says that the righteous, they are as bold as the that as exams are approaching, oh God, as exams are, are already about, as, as they sit test for assessment processes, as they attend interviews, as they attend seminars, they, our children will be confident. But as the Holy Spirit will teach them confident communication. But as the Sokuriya Nehida begin to pray that as they Study, they will be able to they'll be able to receive knowledge, retain knowledge, and reproduce knowledge upon demand. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, you have you have excellent excellent uh, study skills. You yield to the Holy Spirit in your study, in your study pattern, so that you know the study pattern that suits you. You will yield to the Holy Spirit. You will you to the Holy Spirit. Somebody said the answer to a million and one question is to be led by the Spirit of God. Pray that your children will be led by the Spirit of God as they prepare for tests, as they prepare for assessments, as they prepare for interviews, that they'll be led by the Spirit of God. As they prepare, preparation is the, is the place where you either make or break it, that by the Spirit of God, they will learn to prepare adequately 
for any kind of examination, any kind of assessment in the name of the Lord Jesus, that they be that our children will be baptized with the news, with, with, with the new uh, uh, uh with new work ethics, healthy work ethics, where, where diligence is at the top of the list. Some of our children don't want to work hard, but they want high grades. I don't know how they expect that to happen, but by the Spirit of God, that each and every one of them will begin to operate healthy work ethics, where they begin to appreciate the power of hard work. They begin to appreciate the power of conscientious learning, that by the Spirit of God, they will understand their style of learning. They will understand their style of learning. You know, it is it is a negative peer pressure that will make a child that ought to be in the library, study in the library, follow the child that can read on their beds. I mean, I used to read, I used to know of 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 um, uh, well, I know of 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 two two young men. One can study while just lying on their bed and still come out with a stars, but the other one has to go to the library. The other one has to interrogate more information, has to read over and over again because their pattern is different. And so for every child to begin to understand their pattern, let the Spirit of God begin to engage them in their own journey because they are different. They can't just be, study the way their friends study. They they need to study the way they have been wired to study that every child will begin to be confident in their own skin to follow the spirit of god as he leads them to their own victory to their own wealthy place hallelujah the scripture says that it is god that brought them to their wealthy place he brought them forth with gold and silver and and so it is god that knows how to navigate every child in their journey of success but prepare they must and so in the name of jesus we pray for their work ethics their work ethics because Work ethics is something that lets children down these days. Assessment is real. And so work ethics need to match the assessment. And so by the Spirit of God, we bring our children under the tutelage of the Holy Spirit. And we prophesy surpassing intelligence into every child. Mental togetherness. We speak healthy memory. Come on, speak to the memories of those children that are taking exams right now. Speak healthy memories and say, speak to each other and say, you have a healthy memory memory. You have an elastic memory, the one that can expand to contain more knowledge, to receive more knowledge, to retain more knowledge, or to retain it, process it, and reproduce it upon demand so that it attracts the highest grades in the name of the Lord Jesus. We drive away the spirit of laziness. Makoto Soto Korea the Bible says it is the diligent hand that bears rule. The diligent hand bears rule. The diligent hand bears rule. In other words, diligence will lead to, to the top. It will lead to, 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 to success. Diligence is always on the path of success. And so we pray for every child that it, that they will they will latch on to the to the to the operation of the Holy Spirit as it brings them through the path of diligence. Diligence, please. That is strong of my spirit. Speak diligence into the heart of your children that the Spirit of God will walk diligence into them. Diligence. But just so close, that the Lord will teach our children the balance of work and play, that they will be able to prioritize hard work, hard, smart work. Someone says, Oh, these prayers are not necessary for the really young ones. Oh, we will enjoy that child if he starts out his life with discipline and diligence. In these days of, of games, in 
these days of social media, children just want to play. And so you need to begin to exempt your own children from unnecessary play, unnecessary careless living. You consider the other. No ambition, no drive. Begin to exempt your child from that kind of lifestyle. You do so I say you have mental togetherness, surpassing intelligence, quality comprehension. Hey, Jesus, for Sakada, take it to have an elastic that expands, receive, retain, and reproduce knowledge of God's hand. In the name of Jesus, I speak it to you. In the Lagaskada, if I do in the name of Jesus, you love to study, you love to prepare, you prepare diligently, you prepare diligently. Somebody says, Agatha, my children have already done the exams. What are we going to do now that the exams have already been done? That's why we begin to call on the spirit of favor. Favor with the markers, the marking scheme, the, the, the all of all everything else from here. It's favor that must begin to speak, begin to declare that favor compasses you as shield. The other day, my son called me, Oh, mom, I've just finished that exam. Oh, and I knew that what that means is that we need to begin to speak favor. And so we speak favor. Favor surrounds you as shield. The Bible says, Oh Lord, you will have to arise and have mercy upon Zion because this is the hour of favor. Brothers and sisters, we are in the in dispensation of favor that the favor of God will follow that child, follow that exam paper, follow those answers and begin to bring favorable outcome, flying colors for that child. I hope you know that it was favor that gave the throne to Esther. Even though she put in hard work, she put in everything that was necessary, but favor gave her the, gave her the edge. I begin to pray and call favor. Call favor for every child. Call favor for every child. As we go to the communion table, begin to call for favor that every child, will, that their exams, the exams they've taken, their, their markings, their, their scripts, will begin to meet with favor. I once spoke to, to a lecturer and, and she said to me, thank you for praying for favor over the, over the, um, the, 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 the scripts of children because as a lecturer i know how it feels sometimes when you don't feel like marking and you have to mark of course you're, you're not all with it at that time and anything could really happen at that time who's going to know that it's because you are tired or because you you are overwhelmed or because your husband annoyed you or your wife annoyed you that's why you gave that child a bad mark and that is why favor must go ahead the bible says he has given us favor as a shield favor as a shield favor as a shield as we come to the communion table, we invoke by the blood of Jesus the favor of God over our children and the, the outcome of their examinations, the outcome of their assessments. But some of our children are looking for they, they are looking for that employment, that choice employment. Maybe they are seeking that appointment in 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 a in a, in a, in a creative art. Uh, uh, organization, maybe, maybe they want to join a dance club or, or an art club or a, a drama club or a basketball group, a football group, an athletics, what Ever that assessment processes, we bring it under the spirit of favor. We bring it under the spirit of favor, the favor of God, the same one that's, that was upon Jesus, the favor of God that was upon Jesus. If Jesus needed favor, sure enough, my sons need favor. Sure enough, my daughters need favor. In the name of Jesus, we invoke the favor of God by the blood of Jesus over the children that the Lord has given to us. We say, indeed, 
indeed you are for signs and for wonders in the name of jesus father we thank you for access to the communion table again we are grateful we are grateful because it's not by might nor power but it is by your spirit it is not of him that wills nor of him that runs but of god that shows mercy it is your mercy that has brought us to your presence and we are forever grateful lord as we as we partake of this communion we say that on behalf of our children favor surrounds them as shield in every area of their lives hallelujah favor speak for every child that we represent oh labadiana has a favor separate and distinguish every child that we represent in the name of our lord jesus christ hallelujah the bible says christ our passover lamb has been sacrificed for us and we know that because of the sacrifice of jesus upon the cross our children have been exempt from the from the mundane elements of this world from the, the the shame from the disgrace from the disappointments of this world in the name of jesus glory be to god hallelujah i mean this is the fastest 60 minutes that i've known god bless you for joining us on this prayer train we appreciate your joining thank you so much why don't you unmute yourself for like 30 seconds let's thank the lord together god bless you Maleke, Thank you, and the church said amen and amen glory be to god thank you so much for joining this morning let's share the grace in fellowship but just to remind you prayer school is in prayer school 105 is loaded so your registration is very important to us go ahead and register very simple process send your first and last first name and last name some people call it surname first name and last name to prayer food camp at uh, oasisfoundation.org send that to us and we will send you joining details amen it's easy it's easy it's easy because prayer ought to be as simple as abc god bless you let's share the grace of fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and sweet fellowship of the holy spirit